Hello, my name is Alex Dickman reporting for CBS News. Today we will be interviewing George W. Bush, also known as the 43rd President of the United States of America. I am here with George W. Bush. Where were you born and what was your childhood like? I was born in New Haven, Connecticut. I was a student athlete in school and I did very well. During seventh grade, I ran for class president and won. I went to Yale and I was very popular there. I felt very lucky about my wealth and family connections growing up. What was it like to have five younger siblings? As the oldest of six children, I was expected to be a role model and shine. I had to set high expectations for all of them to live up to. When did the idea of running president come up and how did you decide? The idea for running for presidency came in 1999 when I won the Republican nomination. In the election, Al Gore kept the race close and controversial. There were problems with the voting and in the end, U.S. Supreme Court decided the election giving me the victory. Your administration initiated the war of terrorism sparked by the war of Iraq in 2003. How did this change the world? My administration and I told American citizens that we were going to war with Iraq because of the imminent threat from Saddam's weapons, which ties to terrorism. The impact weakened world economy. When you heard the towers were hit, how did this affect you personally, and do you think your response that day was good enough? My blood was boiling. I was so mad. We were going to find out who did this, and they would be in big trouble. After 9-11, you initiated the government to monitor all calls going out of the country. Do you think this is breaking privacy laws? I wanted to try to find evidence of terrorist activity in case something else was going to happen. So, I had the National Security Agency to eavesdrop on Americans' calls outside the U.S. You had a very eventful life. How do you think presidency affected your life outside of work? Since I was a very popular president, everyone knew me. I worked quietly, and after my presidency, I liked to enjoy relaxing. How would you describe the job as a whole and the responsibilities of being the president? I had the honors of being the president, but with that were many responsibilities. I had to hold up to the standards and make sure everyone stayed safe. How would you describe your personal life with family and sports? I run frequently, and I'm somewhat a mountain biker. I spend time at our Texas ranch. My most important value is loyalty and spending time with my family. That's one of the most important values a person can have. What are you currently doing in your life right now? I'm currently supporting Airlift Research Foundation, Clinton Bush Haiti Fund, George W. Bush Institute, Kids Wish Network, National Park Foundation, Operation Smile, Peace Players International, Red Cross, Seeds of Peace, Susan G. Komen for the Cure, the Salvation Army, and United Nations Development Program. Hello, this is Alex Dickman reporting for CBS News. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.